Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome back to another day of No Sleep Challenge. So, I'm quite a bit sleep deprived. After all, we are on day 95. And the goal is to reach the end, defeat the end dragon. And I think I'll. Do, doing all this before day 100 um, might be possible. It largely depends on how fast we uh, uh, can find the uh, stronghold. So let's uh, prepare. I have set up uh, the uh, brewing stand here. So let's start brewing. Uh, also uh, got a few more pieces of glass just in case we need a bit more uh, let's also fetch a bit of sugar cane one piece is enough because then we can make sugar Here, uh, we need the sugar for the potion, and then we will also chuck in one redstone dust. And that will be speed potions. And then over here we will craft ourselves some golden apples. We can manage seven. That will have to do. All right. First batch is done. So let's put in the second one in. We need the awkward potion first. Um, yeah, let's also fetch another bucket of uh, water. Um, just thinking. We don't need a bucket of milk in the uh, in the end. Should not have any. Again, let's put in the glistering melon, which will create a health potion. Potion. Um, then we can put away the melon. And we will prolong that or extend that with glowstone. Infant health, and we should. We need to uh, fill that up with water. There we have it. And this time, uh, another awkward Porsche potion first, and then we are done with the with the nether ward. We're also done with the glowstone. Right, then one carrot, and we can the uh, keep the remaining two as food, and that will become 
a night vision potion. Frankly, when fighting the Ender Dragon, you don't need the night vision potion. I think it. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, visibility, especially uh, in video form where everything is compressed and a bit darker so you can see better. And we will prolong that from three minutes to eight minutes with a bit of uh, redstone. Uh, okay, then, oh yeah, uh, we can also do um, one more slot. Oh. Maybe I should first craft the bottles before I fetch the water. Um. Can also do uh, a strength potion. And that's the water bottle we need. The warts, or precisely one. And Then we need one blaze powder. Can take it out from here. As after that, we will be finished with brewing. Uh, let's put away the. All my chests are full. And a piece of redstone. Um, oh, I have two more chests in here, so let's put them up here and deal with our uh, inventory space and we have prolonged it. Great, so don't need that anymore. Um, let's also put Way these blocks for now. Don't need that. Uh, what we will need are our ender pearls and the blaze rods. So we need a bit of uh, blaze powder. 12, 14, 16. And then let's make 16 eyes of Ender. Nice. That leaves us with uh, six Ender pearls. And then I think we are ready to head out. I've stuck up on food. We need the gravel stacks um, and some building blocks. Uh, we don't need the cooked fish anymore. We switch to steak, uh, which is more nourishing. And it started to rain so 
let's see in which direction the eye of Ender leads us. In this direction. And uh, round spawn, the first or the nearest uh, uh, strongholds uh, should be at around 1000 blocks out. So we can go quite a distance. Ouch. Before we will actually find a stronghold. And we might want to avoid being uh, killed on the way there. So we have to see what we do during night time. But let's move on. Come on. Okay. And it's probably night time. So let's dug out a hole. Just a small one. So we can spend the night in here and await another morning. It's getting slightly lighter outside, so um, let's continue on our way here. And yeah, sun is setting. Um, is it setting? No, I think setting is the, uh, the opposite of what it is actually doing. Sun is rising. That's that's about right. Oh, jungle trees. Only a few. Oh, this is this is weird. Low lying land uh, breached by. Uh, by water. So let's head over here and uh, walk through uh, open terrain. Then on that small hillock there, we can throw another ender pearl where it goes this direction we're still a few hundred blocks away from the uh, from the thousand Walk distance from spawn. But we are getting closer anyway. Sheep. Sheeps have been a rare occurrence so far. Have not seen that many. Let's climb up here. It's a bee's nest. 
and beyond we have savannah and plains over there so let's see we are nearing 1000 so where do we go from here further in that direction It's probably not too much further. So we should soon reach the general area. Nice terrain, by the way. This, this increase in, in height limit that did some wonderful things. Because now you can actually uh, see the landscape uh, also in the uh, vertical dimension how it should be. Where did it land? It land up there. Went in this direction anyway. Let's go a bit further. There is a village over there, an acacia village. Okay, let's try it in this direction. Uh, let's climb this hill then. And I believe uh, that the uh, the angle, the eye of Ender uh, rises, is an indication of uh, how much uh, further out we have to go. So. Yeah, we should be in a straight line here. Because if it's almost straight up, you're basically on, on top of the uh, stronghold. And you only have to find it underground, which can be a challenge in itself. And then even if you have uh, breached the stronghold, you still have to uh, find the uh, end portal room. Ah, oh, we passed it. So it's probably somewhere back here. Where did it go? Did it land on a tree again? Did it? Did it not? No, it's over there. So we have to I put away my shovel. We have to backtrack a bit more. I 
think not too much further. Let's give it another try. Yeah. This direction again. Still this direction. Where did it land? There. So let's stick down here. This is 1500 blocks out. So it is quite a way. And if we dig down, we should come across part of the uh, stronghold. I frankly, I'm not sure how deep strongholds go with the uh, new world generation so if they are still uh, in the uh, positive area or the positive um, height coordinates or if they go down in the in the minus shall see soon enough let's not dig into the dirt okay so let's more dirt over here Let's turn around here. Have another torch. Make another turn. And it goes down and down. And we are in the stronghold. So let's get our sword out okay there is a mountain that's usually a sign of the stronghold being nearby Um, I think so. This is some Derelict end. That's where we came down. Let's mark it this way. Here. Hello. Can stay on the other side. Oh, 
I thought that the uh, iron bars there were actual uh, end gates. But no, they are not. Dead end. And broken up area. Dead end. And no button on this side. Okay. Up here, through here, that's a ravine. Out of fountain. Further down, also on this side, this is not a small stronghold. Okay. Hopefully we will not run out of torches. He says, uh, yeah, don't have any uh, coal on me. Been that way. Dead end. good we've been that way yep okay nothing here um, then this is where we came down means can section this off take a look down here it's also a dead end so let's Find this end gate, and I think I will be back once we have located it. Oh, hello! This indicates we are close. Yes, there it is. So, um, maybe let's get off the uh, silver fish first. And let's destroy that spawner. Nice. Nice, nice. And we are... 1521 and level 9. So this might indicate that uh, strongholds do generate a bit lower. So let's see. Okay. We 
only have one eye of ender but we are well stocked so let's not drop into the lava and this is it for this episode so big suspense next time we will go into the end until then goodbye